Hello folks and welcome back to Fallout 4. It's been a while since we've done an episode on here. The uh, last video was the final video of my Creation Club stuff. And I actually planned on doing some other things before we started Nuka World, but uh, some technical problems have uh, changed my plans for me. So it is time we finally head off to take on the last DLC for this game. So the last time I tried this, it didn't actually, the radio call didn't actually work, so we might just have to go up to the place. Yeah, it's not going to work, unfortunately. Over here at the Lonely Chapel, and we're going to head out towards the Transit Center. It, uh, it won't affect the quest, we just don't hear the, uh, radio transmission. It just happens sometimes, I'm not entirely sure why, but the quest will advance if we just head over there and carry on with it. So I'm just bringing some basic weapons and armor with me to Nuka World. I want to try to use mostly Nuka World stuff once we get there. So I just have the uh, Manuel Carbine and I think Ultimatum. Yeah, uh, a couple Creation Club weapons. And uh, as far as gear, I've just got some Raider armor and a backpack. Oh, I forgot to change, fix my carry weight. Let me do that real quick. Early in the morning right now, so we should get to Nuka World in the daytime. Should, anyways. Hold on. My general subtitles off? No, they're on. Hmm. Cure. If I see anyone violate protocol and enter that transit station before we're set, I'll have your head. Now pick up the pace. I want to be able to report back to Cyprus ASAP. All right. So before we head into the actual transit center, we got to clear the exterior here. There should be some gunners. Areas off limits. Wow. Oh. hard to see for some reason my ENB is not even though I reset the hotkeys it's not opening so I can't turn my depth of field off I wish I could as uh, good as it looks when you're standing still when you start moving around it starts becoming a little problematic Right, Commander Kaler. There we go. All clear. I think Commander Kaler has some information on her. Kaler's orders. Commander Kaler, your orders are to investigate the Nuka-Cola family radio signal that appeared today. Our intel has determined it's coming from the Nuka World Transit Center, and we've reason to believe it may be linked to Sergeant Lanier's missing recon team. Your primary objective is to secure the surrounding location and report back to me. You'll then receive further instructions based on your status report. Colonel Cypress. Well, before we head inside, let's just take a look around this place. You know what? I'll take that shotgun. I don't remember if there's anything actually interesting around here, but, uh, I'll have a look. Oh, another gunner. It's been a while since I've actually gone through Nuka World all the way and actually done everything. I've gone through on a few different alternate characters. Oh my god. <laughs> But, um, uh, it's been a while since I've, like, thoroughly gone through it and done everything. I've done that once or twice in the past, but it's been a few years. Also, I should mention, there's a specific way I plan on going about Nuke World. Obviously, you can do the evil route and help the raiders with everything, or you can, uh, 
initiate a takeover right away and just go after all the raiders, we're going to do it a little bit different because I have a mod active that adds something that honestly should have been an option in the vanilla game. The option to have, well, you can have the Brotherhood do it too, but uh, I have the uh, mod installed that allows us to have the Minutemen come take over Nuka World. But we're not going to do that immediately. The plan is to go through all the main quests. I'm not going to raid my settlements in the Commonwealth, however. It causes too many problems to be worth it. It's just not... I've done it uh, on a few characters in the past, and I just wasn't a fan of that route in this game. But we're going to go through all the main quests and uh, kind of finish everything up. Then we're going to have the Minutemen come through and uh, take it over. So we are going to be working with the Raiders for a while. Uh, we're kind of playing a weird middle route, uh, is the plan on this one. Dead man trying to pick a safe. It's weird now that I um have gotten a monitor with a higher refresh rate. Some actions in this game like play like they're in fast forward, like lock picking. It's really weird. Otherwise, the game runs normal. In fact, it runs great, but. Some things look like they're sped up for some reason. I think that's about it for the transit center. I don't think there's anything up top here. I wonder if we can get up here. And it looks like there's nothing up there. So, okay. Jesus, shit. They're gonna die. What happened to you? Raiders. That's what. Those bastards have my family. You... You gotta help me. Please. Tell me what happened. They fooled us. Big time. My family and I ran into some traitors a while back. Told us they knew a safe settlement. At Nuka World. But when we got there, found out they were raiders the whole time. Just stringing us along. I managed to escape, but my wife and son are still back there. I wanted to get some help and go back with them, but didn't count on taking a bullet. Let me help you first. I have a stim pack. No, no. I'll be fine. Save it for my wife and kid. For Lisa and Cody. No, really. I have enough. Take it. Damn. Look, he got me. I ain't injured, okay? Just can't do this anymore. The raiders back at Nuka World put me up to this. They lure people in and kill them for fun, and I'm done doing their dirty work. Let them find me and do what they want. Let me help. I'll go face them. You don't have to die. Are you... you're serious? Just be warned. This ain't no walk in the park. Here, take this. It's the password to the monorail control terminal. The fastest way to get to Nuka World is to take the Nuka Express. But I shut it down to help sell my story. Makes it more believable if I say I'm trying to keep the raiders at bay. Find the control terminal in the office to power it back up. And once you're on your way, be careful. Alright, so. Let's have a look around this station before we actually head out. The uh, Nuka Cade tickets and stuff. Um, they are going to be important for me to get because I think there's a... Uh, if I remember correctly, there's like a yes. unique weapon or a few unique items you can get from the arcade at Nuka World. So, uh, yeah, I gotta keep an eye out for them. But a hell of a place to die. Okay. Come on, that monorail ain't gonna power itself. Get to the terminal. Oh, right, uh... I'll have to just come back to the Commonwealth and bring them back later. I have a ton of Nuka Cola that I've been collecting the entire time I've played through this game for uh, crafting unique Nuka Cola. Of course, we got to get there and get some recipes first. Anyways, let's check this thing out. Monorail schedule expected to run every 15 minutes. Power grid management. Activate the railway power. Activate the auxiliary power. Attention. In the event of an emergency, remain calm and obey all safety and shelter instructions provided by Nuka World employees. Thank you. Maintenance requests. Clogged water fountain. 
Guess we'll read this stuff. By K. O'Rourke. Some kid shoved gum down the water fountain nozzle again. Assigned to G. Mackey. Removed disgusting fluorescent- is proud to announce the grand reopening of our world of refreshment ride. Now featuring delicious Nuka-Cola Quantum. Okay, I'm gonna have to mute the uh, background noise. I shouldn't have turned the power on yet. Uh, Remove disgusting fluorescent green gum from nozzle. Recommended surveillance to hunt down. Recommend surveillance to hunt down and punish repeat offender. Permanent ban from park would be ideal. This is the sixth time. Announcements repeating. By P reading. This announcements over the PA are stuck on the same announcement about Nuka Cola Dark. Uh, rebooted horribly wretched announcement system. Recommend a punishment. Recommend a punishment of death for its detestable creator. I'm free on Saturday if someone wants to put together a firing squad. <laughs> Unresponsive pro protectron. Pardon me. One of the protectrons is completely unresponsive. It's frozen at the bottom of the escalator and blocking pedestrian traffic. Today's lessons, protectrons need to be returned to their pods every evening. Recommend hiring some competent people to run the transit center and not just handing over the job to some kid whose daddy works for sales. This guy seems like a very happy person. Clogged water fountain. <laughs> Removed vile blockage yet again. Seriously, this kid is going down. Did a little protectron programming to keep a special eye out for this one. Oh no. Monorail door ajar. Uh, lining was old and had fallen out of place, preventing the door from closing. Okay. And we have employee notifications. Service with a smile. The Nuka Cola Corporation is determined to deliver the best possible customer experience available. The first Nuka World representatives, our valuable customers will encounter, are here at the transit center. Therefore, transit center employees are expected to be helpful and appear happy at all times. As a reminder, this is part of your job description. Failure to comply will result in termination without notice. Management. Uh, updated schedule for fall. Please note that the schedule has been updated for the month of October. This is our final month of the season, so let's make it count. It certainly was your final month. Employee termination. Uh, the Nuka Cola Corporation is currently investigating former employee Gordon Mackey after a protect protectron malfunction that resulted in injury to a child. Please do not discuss this matter with anyone outside the company management. So he <laughs> rewired a protectron to deal with the kid that was blocking the water fountain and wounded him. Jesus Christ. Okay. I think that's all we got for the lore of this transit center. So let's uh, I'm gonna do a hard save and then we'll begin our journey. Let's go. Hello, and on behalf of the Nuka Cola Corporation, we'd like to welcome each and every one of you aboard the Nuka Express Monorail. For your own safety, please remain seated or utilize the provided handrail while the train is in motion. If you'll direct your attention to the right side of the monorail, you can observe Nuka World's famous Biz Top Mountain. Standing at over 100 meters tall, Biz Top Mountain is the largest man-made structure in Nuka World and features the five-star Biz Top Grill. Coming up in the heart of Nuka World, Nuka Town, USA. Well, look who learned the truth and still showed up. I guess Harvey played his cards right after all. I only got a minute, so you better listen, and listen good. The name's Gage, Porter Gage, and our mutual friend Harvey only told you half the truth. You're still heading straight into a death trap. But if you somehow make it through alive, I have an interesting offer for you. In the meantime, have fun and put on a good show. I'll be watching. We are now arriving at the station. Please be sure to collect any children and personal belongings before exiting the Zupa Express. 
Attention all my favorite undesirables out there. In case you haven't noticed, it looks like we got ourselves some fresh meat to run the gauntlet. <laughs> what do we got here? Nuka Station Information Terminal. They're going to be really disappointed with my performance here because I'm going to be going through this pretty slow. Ah, uh, you're dead. System area, your dead does not point to a valid file. You're so dead. Enjoy dying. Time to die. Okay. But uh, there is some like notes and stuff to uh, find in the gauntlet. And because I'm level 93 and I have some perks, it's going to be a little bit easier than if you went in here at like the recommended level. And he's off! Let's hope our latest prey can draw a little inspiration from our previous victims. Sykes's old letter. Sykes, you worthless, good-for-nothing piece of shit. Not only did you do all my jet, you sold fate for a lousy 100 caps. To think that'd make up for it? I love that damn mini gun more than your life. You've pissed me off for the last time. I'm out. I'm done taking care of you. Good luck out there on your own. You won't last today. KC. A mini gun named Fate. Dead gunner. Okay, I gotta remember, I I don't have a bunch of armor on. <laughs> gotta keep an eye on my health. Alright. Raider? Probably not gonna come back through here, so. I mean, obviously, so I'm gonna kind of grab whatever seems like I should grab on our way through. Yeah, the Nukacade tokens and the tickets. I need both of those. Right? Yeah, you guys got a thousand traps that uh, I won't set off if I walk over. So, free experience. Uh, lucky. No notes. We got here. Got it. Yeah. Something about a higher refresh rate, like, unlocked the speed of those things for some reason. Rip, you've been here a while. Sweet. The Vix is still alive, but don't let that get you down. The gauntlet still got plenty in store for this one. Oh, whoops, wrong thing. Like, I'm just going slow and methodical, nothing's exploding, none of their traps are working. Hello there. Ophelia. Ophelia's unsent letter. Nice. Much in there. Oop. Alright, let's see this. Dear Mom and Dad, I'm sure by now you've realized that I've left and I'm never coming back. Sure, you managed to keep me safe all my life in that bunker, but I just can't take it anymore. You're gonna see the world whether you like it or not. I'm heading to Diamond City where I can hopefully find a job and a place to live. You think I can't make it out in the real world on my own? Well, I can. I'm not that naive little girl that sleeps with a teddy bear anymore. I'm an adult and I can take care of myself. Please don't try to come after me unless you intend to visit. I'm never coming back. I just wanted to let you know that I'm okay. I still love you both. Ophelia. And somehow she made her way to Nuka World and didn't make it through the gauntlet. It's decision time. All doors lead to death. Some just a little slower than others. Yeah. Well, 
try them all. Uh-oh. from Corin. Why'd you stop here? You had radiation meds. Did all my jet, stuck in some messed up trap. Writing sucks. Gonna take all this Radex and pass out. No one's stupid enough to come after me here. I think that guy Harvey lied to me. Y you think? Yes, I brought plenty of Radaway. Rusty key. Someone thinks he's a real tough guy, but the gauntlet ain't through with him yet. Out of that section. On we go. Interesting place to have a camp. Alright. Turret control. So we can turn these off. Alright. What the hell? Oh, what? Call me crazy, but I think our fix got something against fun. There. <laughs> Kill the monkey, no turrets. Yeah, you can definitely trivialize the gauntlet if you come through here at a high enough level. Uh, okay. Rats. Brad rats. New, uh, enemy type for us here. Private Tyler's personal log. Okay, entry one. Tired of running with the gunners, I gotta get out of here. Sure, it was all fun and exciting at first, but now that I'm older, I'm sick of always watching my back. I just want out. Maybe hole up in Good Neighbor for a while or try to get into Diamond City, someplace where I can at least sleep easy. Got up today to find out that Sarge had Davis killed last night. Heard it was for some back talk comment he made the day before, which is bullshit. This is exactly why I need to get out of here. I'll have to make sure I keep this holotape close too. Bet they'd shoot me on the spot just for thinking about leaving. Going on a recon mission tomorrow and I know there's going to be fireworks. We've had enough super mutant reports to know that we'll run into them. If a fight breaks out, it could be my chance to get away without question. They'll just assume I was taken and not worth recovering. Hell yeah, I'm out. I hold up in some rundown building on the far side, west side of the commonwealth. Gonna wait until it's dark to make my next move. Might even stay here a few days to see what I can salvage around here. I just gotta be sure to plot a course that avoids any gunner territory. Damn, thanks to some feral ghouls, I'm way further west than I want to be right now. At least my chance of crossing paths with any of my old crew are slim. This place doesn't look half bad though, could set up some decent defenses here. Shit, I just heard something. I thought this place was deserted, but it sounds like someone calling for help. Guess I'll go check it out. Big mistake. Don't think so. I forgot about the... Uh, the hostile animatronics. Jesus, who's torturing who? Pick up the pace, Vic! Thank you. What have we here? Explosives. No thanks. Is this a landmine room? 
Yeah. But uh, I'm not going to set them off anyways, so let's just run past them. Yeah, I remember when I first did this DLC, I did it on a character that was like level 30 or something. What the hell? God damn, Derek! That door's supposed to be boarded up! And, uh, it was pretty tough getting through the gauntlet. I didn't have a lot of the perks that I have now, or the, the levels and health and all that, or the supplies. Figured we might as well check out down here, see if there's anything interesting. Oh god. I hate these things so much. The most irritating, tedious enemy to deal with. Guess I could just shoot them, of course. A kneecapper Ventores. I'll take it for now. We'll get a place to stash gear once we uh, get properly into the park. Okay, nothing really. Dead super mutant. Crag. Crag's plan. Okay. Let's, let's hear Crag's plan. Crag's master plan. Find raider play park. Crush raiders. Make best meat bag. Take stuff. Win. Okay, well, anyways. So many traps. I bet this was really fun to put together when they were creating the game. Come on, Vic. Wow, we're young here. That was sarcasm. Recon log from Sergeant Marks. Time for a little reality check. Let's see if our Vic can kill the gas before the gas kills him. <laughs> okay, you know what? Let's read Sergeant Marks's recon log here in a second. Wasted time, Vic. Sergeant Marks, day one log. I've been ordered to scout the area around Fort Hagen to avail the location for possible takeover. So far, not much left in the area. Buildings are picked over, although Red Rocket Filling Station has some potential. I'll check out the array tomorrow, but I'm setting up a secure spot to camp. Sergeant Marks, Day 2 Log. Came across a civilian looking for help. He was already shot, so I left him to die. Not worth the bullet. Said a few raiders dragged his family off to some place called Nuka World, but they were heavily supplied. Not within my orders, but I'm going to check it out. Sergeant Marks, Day 3 Log. I'm in some sort of fucking maze. I'm guessing that asshole I left to die intentionally led me here. Probably not even dying, so joke's on me. I have no idea how long this goes on. I've only got a few stim packs left. All I know is they better hope I don't make it, because if I do, I'm going to kill every single living soul involved in this. Especially that goddamn announcer. Okay, so yeah, that um, that audio log, if I uh, close my Pip-Boy there and get the subtitles, for some reason it bugs out and skips through it really fast, so... Time. Don't know why. <laughs> oh, legendary. Just keep lighting everything on fire, why not? All right. Uh, security door control. Open. Uh, what do we got on here? Check turbine status. It's not... Uh, to all employees. To all substation employees, it's been brought to our attention that certain late night shift employees have been entering the park after hours for entertainment purposes. This is strictly forbidden and will result in immediate termination if it happens again. Any employees that enter the park after, a after hours for work purposes must submit the required paperwork and are expected to be fully clothed and sober. <laughs> yeah, they just keep showing up. 
Let's go. All right. That's right, Vic. Breathe that fresh air in while you can. So this is kind of a weird enemy here in this flying ant swarm. There's just regular ants. <laughs> Fly swatting with bullets. Anyways. Oh, right. So I'm just going to kind of sprint through here. I'll go loot these guys after we get out. Because the longer you stay here, the more just keep showing up above you. Let's do it. You got me wired up yet, Gage? Yeah, boss. Finally. Now go shut off that damn alarm. All right. I'm on it. Uh, now where? Ah, there's my next victim now. <laughs> Don't look like much. Here's a quick rundown how this works. You go stock up. Make yourself presentable. Then... We're going to give these folks a show. A show where I decorate these walls here with your lovely brains. Thanks to this suit, I'm the only one that wins this fight. Period. Think you're hot shit getting this far. <laughs> Think again. All right, Gage. Let him through. Something tells me I'm really going to enjoy this. I can't think of the name, but that I recognize Coulter's voice from other games. Pretty sure. It's all, almost time. After a run like that, this ought to be the best slaughter yet. Remember, longest survival time against Coulter still stands at 1 minute 37 seconds. All right, listen to hell up. You want to make it out of this alive. Hold on there, buddy. I'm going to read Anise's note here. To the assholes who trapped me in here, I'm done playing your little game. I ran your stupid gauntlet. I made it this far, but I'm done. So no big show for you. Aren't you just the bravest bunch of dipshits to watch some guy in supercharged power armor beat up someone with nothing? I'll blow my brains out, thank you very much. I've only got Hardcore. Find the intercom on the wall. I'll make it quick. Who is this? I'm the guy that's gonna get you out of this alive. So listen up. Alright, I'm listening. My kind of guy. Look, you made it this far. You obviously got skill, but this fight coming up is rigged. You get me? Over Boss Coulter, his power armor's set up to draw energy from the electric grid in the arena. Damn thing's invincible. You name it, someone's tried it. Miniguns, grenades, not a scratch. You get what I'm saying? I wouldn't expect anything less from a raider. <laughs> you know us well, then. You want to win? I stashed a weapon in the lockers. Get it. Anything else in these lockers before I take the weapon? A uh, mini nuke. Very useful. Ammo. And here we go. Yes. So this thing later on, you can actually get a mod for it that uh, makes it do damage. As you can see right now, it just fires water. But um, yeah, you can actually modify this thing later, so. Also, let's hotkey it. Some, oh, right. I forgot I had these other weapons. Two. Is this a, a squirt gun? Yeah, yeah, I know what it looks like. 
You're just going to have to trust me. Seriously, is this some kind of joke? Nope. It's the perfect weapon. Once the water hits Colter's electrically charged power armor, the circuits are gonna short out. It'll kill his defenses, but you only have so much time to do some damage before they recharge. You take him out, I promise you, it'll be worth every minute spent in this gauntlet. Consider it done. That's what I like to hear. All right, it's time. I'll open the door. See you on the other side. Alrighty then. You know, I should have brought something really hard hitting with me. I didn't think about that. Oh, I'll take that though. Um. We'll be all right, though. Got a lot of ammo for that Manuel rifle. All right. Disciples, are you ready for blood? At the back, are you ready for things to get wild? Get shocked. Oh, wrong gun. Okay. Oh, there you got short circuited. Damn it. He's got a weak gun. I was... I remembered him being... having a tougher weapon. Maybe it's random? I'll be taking that stuff, buddy. Especially the overboss power armor. Thanks to you. <laughs> Not a bad plan. And what do you know? It worked. I get that you have no idea what's going on and everything is coming at you real fast. But you need to listen. Taking out Colder wasn't just a last minute decision. It was something a few of us here have been working on for a while. Now that he's actually gone, we've got ourselves a vacancy in the overboss department. And guess what? You just got the job. All I'm asking is that you trust me on this and give it a shot. I swear, it'll be worth it. Let's just say you've got my attention. Good. Then listen up, because I've got a lot to say. There are three raider gangs that run the show at Nuka World. The Disciples, the Operators, and the Pack. And yeah, if the names didn't give it away, these ain't your typical raiders. These morons don't exactly play nice with each other. Thanks to Coulter, this place is a powder keg just waiting to blow sky high. One wrong move, and we're going to have a bloodbath on our hands. I think you have what it takes to turn things around and 
keep these gangs from tearing each other apart. Why me? I'm sure you're better suited for the job. We'll get into that later. Now, I'm sure you got a lot of questions, but this ain't the place. Meet me at the Overbosses, your new quarters, the restaurant on top of good old Fizz Top Mountain. We can talk there. Just let me get that door for you. There. We are free. For the moment. Just gonna look around in here real quick and see if there's anything interesting. Before we leave. So we're definitely gonna be playing favorites with a few of the gangs. I'm gonna do, uh, some of their, the stuff for them. Uh, equally, we'll be doing different missions for these different raider groups. But, uh... You'll see later when we get on, we're going to have to make some decisions about who gets what and <laughs> and uh, how to divvy up things around here, which will affect the outcome of the main Raider quest line. Park map pamphlet. Sure, I'll take one. Just really looking around for unique items and uh, aid items and I guess I should probably take tickets and all that. There's one item, or maybe it was an achievement, uh, that you had to get in the, the arcade here for getting like a hundred thousand tickets or something like that. I can't remember if you get an item for that or if it's just an achievement, but I know there's some things in the arcade we're gonna need these tickets for, so... Yeah, out we go. Let's talk to the, uh, robot here. Were you sleeping or were you not? Yes, I was sleeping, okay? It's what people do when they're exhausted. Ever since you guys took over, you've been working us around the clock. What do you expect us to do? We expect you to show a little appreciation. We make sure you've got enough to eat and drink. We provide security. Without us, you'd be food for the bloodworms. You can either do your job and earn your keep, or we can throw your ass outside the park. Or maybe you think you're better off out there. Alone and unarmed. No! No, I'll, um... I'll get back to work. That's better. So eventually, all these slaves that they have around here will be free. But we're not gonna worry about that yet. Think you're tough? Let's wrestle and find out. Rose. Well, hello there, young fella. Whatever. Welcome to Nuka World. I'm Mira, your friendly Nuka World informational robotic assistant. Is this your first visit to Nuka World? As a matter of fact, it is. Well, that's terrific. We're so happy to welcome you to Nuka World. Now, before you set off on your grand Nuka adventure, let me tell you about error. <laughs> System malfunction. Are you finished wasting my time, you filthy lowlife scabber? Because I'm getting bored, and when I get bored, I get violent. Wait, what did you just say? Oh, what's wrong, dirtbag? Too hopped up on chems to understand English? Or just too stupid? Well, I think you heard me just fine. System restored. Oops, sorry about that little glitch. Data logs indicate unauthorized tampering with my personality subroutines. Please contact a Nuka World maintenance technician as soon as possible. What happened? Who was tampering with you? I wish I could say. The personnel involved do not match visual records of any known Nuka World employees. Fortunately, my audio receptors recorded the entire event, and I submitted a holotape per standard security procedures. Now don't you worry. Even despite that unfortunate incident, I'm still operating at well over 61% normal capacity. As I was about to say, I have a little tip to help you make the most of your exciting Nuka World adventure. Be sure to collect park medallions as you enjoy our amazing rides and attractions. There's a special reward if you collect a full set. If you have any questions about Nuka World, I'd be delighted to answer them. And remember, any 
time is the right time to enjoy a cold, refreshing Nuka Cola. Uh, let's go ahead and. What if I want a place to relax or get a bite to eat? Where should I go? Why, you're already here. Nuka Town USA is a great place to unwind and enjoy a delicious meal. If you're searching for a tasty treat your kids will love, take the whole family to Cappy's Cafe. Looking for a romantic night out? Enjoy dinner and a show at the parlor. Want a commanding view while you enjoy a world-class dining experience? Head on up to the Fizz Top Grill on Fizz Top Mountain. If you're up for a challenge, test your skills at the Nuka Cave or take a wild ride in one of our cola cars. What else would you like to know? Tell me more about these park medallions. I'd be delighted to. Spread throughout the park are several dispensing machines that will give you a special park medallion. Once you've got a complete set, just bring them back to me for a special reward. Where can I find these dispensing machines? I'll give you a hint. You'll want to visit some of our most popular rides and attractions to find them. What else would you like to know? Tell me about the different areas of the park. With pleasure. Set a course for the stars in the galactic zone and see the amazing future of mankind's journey into space. Explore Starport Nuka and blast into adventure aboard the Nuka Galaxy Roller Coaster. Travel back in time to Dry Rock Gulch where you can walk the dusty streets of a frontier town. See history come to life in our authentic reenactments of cowboys and gunslingers as they tame the Wild West. Witness the wonder of nature in Safari Adventure, home to an amazing collection of exotic animals from all over the world. Challenge the hedge maze and climb the towering treehouse, where you'll enjoy a commanding view of our magnificent menagerie. Be sure to visit Giddy Kingdom, a magical realm where fantasy meets fun for the whole family. Your younger tykes will love to go for a spin on the giant Ferris wheel. And be sure to take a tour of King Cola's castle. Finally, in celebration of its worldwide debut, we've revamped the World of Refreshment ride to feature a river of Nuka Cola Quantum. What else would you like to know? No questions for now. In that case, thanks for error. <laughs> System d d malfunction. You're still here? Get the hell out of my face, you miserable dung sniffing dirt scratcher. System restored. Have a great day. <laughs> oh, the robot's the best. Okay. So, uh, I'm trying to think of what to do immediately. There's a few things we should probably get started. So... I'm not going to go into the market quite yet. Let's head off this way. Caught one of the traders stealing food. Yeah? What did you do to him? Turned him loose Think outside tough? the gate. Are you serious? Let's wrestle. Yeah. Find out. Then I got in a little extra no. target practice. Get the hell away from dumbass. So, we're going to be in Nuka World for a while. There's a lot of content here, and I want to try to do as much as I possibly can. So, let me get this straight. Some scabber makes it through the gauntlet, takes out the boss, and now we're all supposed to follow him? How does that work? He ain't even a raider. All I know is, Gage was in the mountain the other day and he had a real long talk with Nisha. In private. Gage? How the hell with that guy? What's he ever done around here? Hey, I'm just telling you what I saw. If you want to know more about what's going on, then maybe you should ask me. <laughs> what do I look like? An idiot? Having fun? ordinary around here have you maybe something hidden shaped like a bottle cap i thought we told you to keep your ass at the market if you're looking for something you can find it there like everyone else i'm not here for the market i didn't travel hundreds of miles to go shopping i don't suppose you came here for a bullet in the brain either so if you want to live i suggest you stay where you belong oh you guys are real friendly aren't you nisha really only has one rule around here hey there nuka don't world I've always dreamed of coming here, and now I finally made it! This place is amazing, don't you think? 
Yeah, I guess it is pretty impressive. It sure is. You can just imagine the children smiling and happy, all drinking Nuka Cola and having the time of their lives. It, it must have been magical. The name's Sierra Petrovita. I traveled all the way from the capital wasteland to visit this place. Maybe you've heard about my Nuka Cola museum? Now, anyone who's been through Fallout 3 knows all about this chick. You run a Nuka Cola museum? Absolutely. I'd spent years collecting all the Nuka Cola merchandise I could find. It's all on display at my home in a settlement called Girder Shade. I give tours to anyone who stops by. And I can promise you this you won't find another collection like mine in the Capital Wasteland, the Commonwealth, or any place else. Well, I'd stay and chat some more, but I've got to get back to my search. What are you searching for? I don't really want to say. It's nothing personal. I, I just don't know you well enough to trust you. Sorry. I'll keep your secret. You can trust me. Well... Okay. To be honest, I'm so excited I can barely keep it in. It'll be a relief to finally tell someone. I guess you could think of me as the world's biggest Nuka Cola fan. I've been obsessed with this. Hold on, I got someone. Sorry about that pinging noise there. Just a minute. Okay. Stuff since the first time I tasted it. I collect all the merchandise I can find, like these awesome Cappy glasses I'm wearing. But these aren't just ordinary sunglasses. They were part of a really cool contest that started just before the war. And the winner of the contest would get to meet the famous John Caleb Bradburton himself. Bradburton. I remember that name. He was the guy who invented Nuka-Cola, right? Exactly. Wow. Not a lot of people know that. At least not anymore. So, to win the contest, you had to find ten images of Cappy, the Nuka-Cola mascot, hidden throughout the park. Each image has part of a code or something, and only these special glasses can reveal it. Now I know what you're thinking. Brad Burton's long gone. Who cares about the contest anymore? Well, I'm betting that somewhere in his office is the original Nuka-Cola formula. That formula was one of the great mysteries of the soft drink world, and it would be the crown jewel of my collection. If you can help me get it, I promise it'll be worth your while. Sure, why not? Might learn more about the park while I'm at it. Good point. You're new here after all. You should learn everything you can. I'll give you my cappy glasses and this old contest hollow tape. It's got hints about where to find the hidden cappies. Just track down the clues and then come back to me once you've found them all. I'm an expert in all things Nuka-Cola, so I'm sure I'll be able to decipher it. Happy hunting! Right, so yet another ambient thing to kind of work on in the background while we're doing things here. Now, I don't remember where all the images are. It's been a while. So, uh, we'll, uh, try to tackle that maybe all in one go later on once we've been to some more places in the park. For now, let's head over to that our, uh, died too fast. head over to our new home here. I think I have a mod on that actually allows me to, um, to, uh, modify the interior of the overpass place here, I think. Song stuck in my head again. So, we might have to do that, um... Uh, at some point here. There should be like a, yeah, restaurant and then there's a actual interior of the place here. Let's just go talk to Gage here and get things rolling. I also need to get a power armor frame to put this overboss armor on. Oh yeah, there's a workbench, okay. Welcome home. Boss, the digs are yours now. I hope you like the look. Coulter had some peculiar tastes. But this view is something, huh? Everything you see here is under your control, now that you're in charge. If I'm really running the show now, let's get to work. Now that right there is just the kind of attitude I was hoping for. Look, I'll be honest with you. This operation needs someone to step in and take the reins. Sure as hell ain't gonna be me. Leading outright ain't my style. And there's already some blaming me for supporting Coulter all this time. My talents are best put to use helping a new overboss get all this shit under control. You get me? 
I hear you, Gage. Good. I know I'm throwing a lot at you all at once here. Let's take a step back and talk big picture, okay? Nuka World. Shit. This was the dream. Huge. Built like a goddamn fortress. You run this, world is yours. We had a good head start on it. Felt a lot of work went into getting the disciples, the operators, and the pack to work together. But we got here. About a year ago, we push in through the front gate, take over Nuka Town, get these traitors under our thumb. And then, well, Coulter got lazy. He was content to sit on his ass. Never bothered putting in the effort to finish taking over the park. The gangs got restless and started pissing each other off. It was, is, a real mess. I can fix this. I can make this work. Yeah? Man, I sure hope so. Look, I know these gangs. Been working with them or against them for years now. I'll help you, okay? Walk you through everything. First thing you gotta do is get the gangs behind you. Without them supporting you, you're not getting shit done. You don't have to trust them. Hell, you don't even have to like them but you need them to respect you enough to follow you. Have any advice for how I should go about it? Yeah, all right. The disciples like violence. The bloodier, the better. Tell them they'll get plenty of it. The operators are in it mostly for the money. They get promised caps, they'll listen to you. The pack, hell, I don't know. They follow whoever they think is the strongest. Show some teeth, I guess. Don't worry. Everybody likes me. Yeah, I wouldn't count on that. Look, technically, you're already the new overboss, right? That's like half the work done right there. Just meet the leaders. Talk with them. Flex your muscles a little. Show them you mean business. Okay, let's do this. All right. That's what I'm talking about. You just need to show them you're the right man for the job. I'll be here if you need me. You are the overboss after all. Just don't screw this up. Right. Before we head out, let's, um... I need to do some things here real fast. Let's go ahead and give this an upgrade. I just need to make myself a actual secure storage place here. I mean... No one's gonna take anything from me here, but we oh there's already a trunk here. We'll just use this, never mind. Forgot about this. So I'm gonna put away a few of the things I have. I might modify them later. I do wanna try to use Nuka World weapons. So uh I'm gonna have to find a power armor frame. I I think there's a power armor frame out at the um uh, one of the locations outside the park here, so we'll find that later. All right, well, before we finish up, let's go ahead and go meet some of the raider gangs here, and we'll get kind of, uh, get the ball rolling. We'll bring Gage with us some, but, um, the route I'm going to take, he's going to be hostile eventually, so I'm not going to worry too much about that because it's going to be a companion. We're going to lose. I do like Gage as a companion. I think he's a well-written character, but, um, since we're doing a kind of weird path through the game, uh, I don't think there's a way to make him not eventually uh, turn hostile with us. So, watch yourself, boss, because we sure will be. <laughs> Girl, you know we should run this place. Not some little greenie Gage dragged in. We're giving him a second chance. Gage screws this up. He knows we'll skin him alive. So shut up and be patient. What about you, big guy? Nothing to say on the matter? As long as he doesn't get in my way, don't much care. Yeah, figured as much. Both of you just get out of here. And make sure the others get the message. The new OB, huh? I reckon you're here to talk to Nisha. She's in charge. Hey there. So, you're Gage's little pet project. Last I checked, 
I'm the overboss. You survived the gauntlet. You killed Coulter, with Gage's help, of course. So sure, you're the overboss. But that title hasn't meant anything for a long time now. If Gage thinks that'll change overnight, he's dead wrong. Everyone knows we all wanted Coulter dead. Of course, if I had my way, it would have been a slow, painful process. But whatever. Let's get this meet and greet over with. I'm Nisha. I lead the Disciples. We've only got one rule around here, and that's keeping the peace of this... Alliance. Otherwise, the way we see it, this world stopped caring about rules the moment people started dropping bombs on one another. We're just gonna humor all these people for the moment, kind of. Rules just hold us back. We should be free to do what we want. That's what I was trying to tell Coulter all along. Maybe if he listened, he'd still be around. Although I could give him a little credit. He built the gauntlet, after all. Of course, it was total shit at first. No imagination. But we spiced it up a bit. I thought it was pretty impressive. Good to see the new boss at least has some taste. I might let you keep that head on your shoulders after all. Let's just hope Gage is right about you. He made a lot of promises to get us here. And never followed through. So you better not screw this up. Because I'm not about to tolerate another round of bullshit. I'm gonna do things my way. Whether you approve or not. Oh yeah? I just have a few things for you to consider before you go off and do things your way. You see, the Disciples don't make empty threats. We make good on them. We aren't swayed by caps like those spoiled brats obsessed with their hair. Or those savage animals who can't behave in public. Fuck this up? And I will kill you. Although, I admit I have even better plans for Gage. But, if you support us and keep your promises like a good little overboss, we back you. You get to live, and everybody wins. I don't make promises. And you'll do what I say. Looks like you're already a step above Coulter. We'll see how this plays out. For now. But, if you change your tune and decide to play nice, there's no shortage of work around here, so if you're looking to prove you've got what it takes, you know where to find me. Speaking of that, Nisha. hold up. You look like you could use something to do, and I got just the thing. Oh yeah. Some traders don't believe in finders <laughs> keepers. Response was that. Stealing. It's time to put them in their place. Right up my alley. I knew you'd be interested. All right, so yeah, we get some side missions we can do. A lot of them bring us back to the Commonwealth, so we will do some of those because they won't interfere with anything back in the Commonwealth, so long as we're careful. Across any hubologist crazies, just ignore them. Told those freaks to stick to their camp. Ah, uh, yeah. So the the hubologists are back in Nuke World. If you played Fallout 2, you probably know who they are. Very uh, interesting quests you can do with them. We'll tackle that in the future. For now, let's go over and meet the operators, and then go meet the, uh, the pack. Kind of set the stage for everything we're about to go do. You're gonna head on in, over boss. Sorry, Max. All anyone's turned up so far is that he's got that pit boy on his arm. So, our new over boss is a vault dweller. Or ice the vault dweller. Hmm. You can go. Hey. Well. I suppose we all owe you for putting down Coulter. Man was an idiot. Made us all look bad. <laughs> a clown stuck in his own little car. I guess we can take some solace in the fact that someone finally gave him what he deserved. I want to know, what did you feel as you did it? When you brought that walking pile of human garbage to his knees? Taking down an opponent like that? It's thrilling. Sure looked it. Hmm. Perhaps you're better suited to this than I expected. Regardless, Gage's decree means that you're the new overboss. I suppose we can only hope you work out better than the last one. I'm Mags. This is my brother, William. Pleasure. Along with our co-conspirator, Lizzie, we run this crew. Call ourselves the Operators. 
You'll come to understand soon enough that we are the only gang you should be backing around here. Because we're the only ones who see this place for what it is. A temple. A testament to the only thing that matters in this world. Making money? Exactly. Caps. This place was built for the sole purpose of taking caps out of the pockets of fools. We only joined Gage and Coulter's little menagerie in order to restore it to that goal. Though by somewhat more cutthroat methods than I expect its founders intended. Instead, Coulter had us sitting on our asses for the better part of a year while he lived large in his damn mountaintop. And that means, if you're going to be in charge around here, we'd like some assurances that you intend to bring this place back to its true purpose. And that we're going to get back to robbing folks of their fucking money. My goal is to use this place to make all the money I can. Well, it's about damn time. Hmm. I look forward to seeing your claims put into action. So, you're welcome in the parlor whenever you like. Make yourself at home. And if you think you might be interested in running some jobs for us, you just come speak to me. And we'll all be anxiously awaiting getting this place back to doing what it does best. Max. Are you here to work? I've got something I think you might be able to handle. I got you. The pack continue to be a thorn in our side. There's a new ally they're trying to woo. I want to make sure that doesn't happen. Ever. Put them down for us. Sounds fun. Then I'll leave you to it. All right. Kill the super mutant skirmisher. Yeah, these quests, they don't tend to make a whole lot of sense. Uh, <laughs> some of the targets because they're, you know, randomized. But anyways. All right. Before we go talk to the pack, let's actually stop in the market and talk to... Actually, I don't know if I should talk to the traders quite yet. Because we're not, obviously not even close to ready to uh, do all that. We're going to have to go into the market later on to get some pieces for one of the, uh, one of the, uh, areas of the park. So we'll talk to everyone in there when we do that. For now, let's just meet the Welcome pack. Welcome to the nest, boss. We was wondering when you'd make it down here. Got chase if you want. Okay. <laughs> Well, they're animal lovers. <laughs> they have a cat, at least. Let's it all Help! Did you have to wait a long time? I walked right up there. Most can handle the rush without bothering me. You need help finding your place here. No, I can handle it. There's plenty of collars in the kennels. Why is that so loud? All right, it's way louder than the voice. We're all in this together. This can be good for everyone. Yeah, yeah. sure, boss. We're gonna be one big happy thing. Name's Mason, the Pax Alpha. This here's our side of town. You might be over, boss, for now. But I'm the boss of the pack. Stay that way. Well, if you don't go forgetting that, we're gonna be fine. Let's work together, Mason. Yeah, I'm not interested in ruining the gig. If that ain't a lie, then things might end up all right between us. Look, it ain't like anyone's broke up about Coulter. Just figured out his replacement being, well, different. But Gage says you're the boss now. You're the boss. You don't want to be over, boss? If I thought the other gangs would go along, yeah. I'd run this place in a heartbeat. I have to. At least it ain't Mags Black. That's a freak Misha. Besides, you can't possibly be worse than Coulter. Coulter? He's weak. Why'd you follow him at all? I've been wondering that ourselves. Don't get me wrong, Coulter was definitely overboss. Not a man to mess with. And things were good at all. Really good. But that was a year ago. Then Coulter went soft. Wanted to 
take stock of the achievement. So what is it you want? Caps, action, something. Anything is more than the sitting around we've been doing for the last few years. Sure, this place beats living in the shitholes we had out there. That is the palace of caps we signed up for. Ain't none of us happy, not even the disciples. And they're normally a chipper bunch, so long as they're drenched in blood. Things were going to hell fast. But here, got us together and promised we'd find someone to deal with Colter. So, what's the real story behind Gage and Colter? I don't even know what I've heard. The story is that Gage got Coulter into coming over. And he got you in love, didn't he? Maybe he likes people owing him. Maybe it lets him get things better than getting dirt on his hands. After Coulter went solo, Gage got us behind closed doors and promised he'd get some off Coulter. And you did just that. Might have been the whole thing the gauntlet all along. I wish those damn animals in the back would just fucking kill each other already. Uh, you can trust me. No offense, but you just got here. We'll see what you can do. Look, let's cut to the chase. I'm gonna do right by the path. I hear you've been talking to the other gangs. Be a good dog and do what you're told. Or you'll be put down. Oh, yeah, of course. Not from my guys, all right? You've got enough to worry about about a dominant struggle inside the pack to deal with. One last thing before I let you go. There's always a to do around here to keep them in the middle of the river. If you're ever able to lend a hand, stop by. It's a two-way street. Hey there. I could use you. You ain't too busy. Uh -huh. Some buck out in the wasteland paid us a ton of caps to take out a troublemaker. I didn't specify leaving a corpse. So I got a better idea. Take this shot collar. Sneak up and slap it on the back of the Or be your senseless and snap it on when she's down and out. My kind of work. Wish I had your thirst for the chase. All right. It's done. You know, I thought, um, I thought Mason was supposed to give me a weapon. I thought he was supposed to give you a weapon for, uh, talking there. I wonder if that bugged out. Um, I was under the impression that he gives you a gun. Maybe I took the wrong dialogue route. Let me load that again and try it again. I think we're not so different, me and you. I want you to have this. Consider it a token of our mutual understanding and respect. There we go. There I got it. I wonder. I chose a different route, kind of. I think it was only one different option. I was just more of an asshole to him. But anyways, there we go. One last is always worth. Okay. Let's check out this weapon. Let's uh go ahead and favorite this sucker. Oh, I need 7.62 ammo. I don't have any. Great. Oh, okay. Gonna go back to, uh, to, uh, Gage here and, uh, tell him what happened, and, uh, then we should be free to kind of start heading out into the different sections of the park and all that stuff on the next episode. The overboss returns. Well, you're back in one piece. That's a good sign. Everything all peachy with our friendly neighborhood psychopath. Sure hope you didn't promise them too much. I mean, going a little over the top is part of the game, but you don't want them holding it against you if you can't deliver. All the gangs are on board. I knew you had it in you. Time to roll up your sleeves, boss. There's work to be done. This place is huge. Divided up into sections. Parks, whatever the hell they called them back in the day. We need to take them all back, one at a time. Every section we secure gives us a little more breathing room and more resources. You stake a claim, plant a little flag for one of the gangs, and that settles it. It's theirs for good. Who gets what, that'll be your call. Whoever you hand it off to will appreciate it, but the others might get a little jealous. You know how it goes. It's gonna feel good to be in charge. Yeah, sure will. Be real nice to have this place all under our control. So that's it. 
Nice and simple, right? Take a minute. Settle in if you want. And then let's get to it. And hey, we're in this together. So I might as well go all in. You want me watching your back? You just say the word. Okay, so we're all ready to go. I'm not gonna bring... I'm not gonna bring Gage with me for the moment. Because I kind of want to be able to explore and do all this stuff on my own. Without his uh, influence. So there we go, the stage is all set to uh, head off to the first zone next time. I think we'll probably do Galactic Zone first because that is one of my favorite locations in any Fallout game ever. I love it there. And we've also got a lot to do outside of the park. There's uh, actually quite a lot of locations and there's other quests and stuff to do outside. It's a pretty good sized map. So uh, yeah, that'll do it for this one. I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.